Hi, and here we are. It's Jill from Film Expo South, and today we are meeting up with Rob, who's one of our members. Now, Rob is our director, and he does camera and lighting as well. He has been filming for over 20 years, and he's been involved in music videos, short films, mini features, um, commercials, corporates, and for the first time, he's been involved in a feature this year, which he's been really excited about. Uh, but we're going to talk about his film, he made a short film a few years ago called It Doesn't Take Much and it's all about bullying. Good topic uh, to pick, and um, but it wasn't his decision apparently. So tell me more about It Doesn't Take Much. So um, who actually came up with the idea? Uh, well, my sister runs a youth theatre group in Zakynthos in mm -hmm. Greece um, and the young people with the youth theatre wanted to make a film. And they asked me to come and direct it for them. And they decided on bullying, did they? They decided on bullying. They came up with all of the key ideas. Mm -hmm. And um, my sister then formed it into a script for them, which was lovely. Um, and then I came out and we cast and rehearsed and basically made a film. Excellent. And I hear you went over, it was just yourself as a crew member, and Kevin Harper on sound. So how did you get, and where did you get everyone else from to join in on the production? Uh, we cast from among the members of the Youth Theatre Group, uh -huh. none of whom had ever appeared in, on camera in a drama before. Um, and the crew came from just members of the local community who were excited about the pro prospect of taking part in a film and they worked really hard and as with all making of short films the days were long and yeah. the work was hard but they they all stuck with it but you do you, you build a really good team together don't you you're all going for the same goal which um Ab absolutely is. absolutely and we had people doing catering and making lovely food for us um we had a boom op who'd never even held a microphone before, um, who really enjoyed himself and had a really good time. And makeup and hair and costumes and everything. We, we just got a really good team together. Excellent. And um, with the music, I like the music, the song, the songs you've got going with the, the film. It's really, and that does add, does add to it. Um, so who came up with the song and did you have a few choices or not? Uh, well, the, the musician, the composer, was a guy called Pete Bradley from the Isle of Wight, mm -hmm. who I've known for a long time, he's a dear friend. I'm also something of a fan of his as well. And so I, because I know his style, I absolutely trusted him with this project. Yeah. So I sent him the finished edit and said, can you compose something for me? And he came back with a lovely piece of music composed specifically for the film. Well, I always hear from composers that they would like to be pulled on at the beginning of a film so they can understand where you're coming from. But I suppose if you know his music already, that's helpful. Did a Understanding really, really what quick you wanted, yeah. Turn around. And he loved the. Because at the end of the film, we bring a butterfly from a scrawled poster. Oh, did you love one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not part of the ending. Yeah. That's just symbolic of. A, a butterfly coming from a caterpillar, a transformative process, a yeah. beautiful thing coming from an unprepossessing thing. Um, yeah. And he got that completely. And so that inspired his musical take on it. And it is a lovely piece of music, as you say. Yeah. And, um, and with the labelling, I thought the label, the, that idea was very clever because it does happen a lot of times. And um, so who came up with the idea of the labels? That came up through the workshopping of the young people. Mm -hmm. um, as with all the central ideas and themes of the film, it was the young people guiding it. They came up with everything. So the, that was very clever of them and a very good metaphor for what the film was about. So, they, so you went out to Greece, yes. so it was a kinthos to do the film, where they all speak Greek. Um, so why is it in English and with Greek t subtitles? Well, it, it's a confession I have to make that with all the time I've spent over there and with all the lovely embracing community, I just haven't learned enough Greek to be able to direct in Greek. And all the young people have learned enough English to be able to be directed in English. So my fault, I would have loved to have done it in Greek. I think it would have been 
very satisfying. Mm. But it is what it is, and I am what I am. But I do like the way, because I think a lot of short films lose out um, when they go around the festivals at times, when we'll come back to this festival mm. question. Um, but when they go around the festivals, they, it's either in English, or if it's in French or another language, they have the subtitles. But we don't do it the other way. If it's in English, we don't really put many subtitles. So I don't see many films with subtitles on. And I think, I believe that they would do much better around the circuit if they went that extra mile to to be able to build a bigger audience as well. Agreed, agreed. And it, it does make, yeah, it does open the accessibility of a subject. Well, yeah, especially on the islands, yeah. yeah. Um, now, coming back to the festivals. Yeah. What made you, why didn't you decide to go in the festival round? Why didn't you take that route? Um, that's a really, that's actually a very tricky question to answer. Um, and I'll try and answer it as quickly as I can. I, I um, was injured um, a few years ago. Um, and I made this film during my, the course of my recovery. And I just wasn't ready at the time to spread yeah. it out there and put myself out there. It takes a lot of energy and focus and it money does. as well. Uh, yeah. And very specifically, it was a head injury mm. um, that left me not really... It, it, it was a significant injury. Mm. Um, and so I just wasn't ready at that time to do yeah. that. Which is a shame because most film festivals don't take a film more than a year old. So it's a bit late now, unless I re-edit it, which I don't know if is within the rules. Stay with us for Rob's film, It Doesn't Take Much. Why don't you do the world a favor and just disappear, slot? Still here, you're looking for business. Slut. Oh, what's this? A convention of freaks? Gets knit together. Beggars can't be choosers, Lola, but you're wasting your time there. Just saying.
pathetic. Who are you trying to kid? Everyone knows blondes are dumb. Look, I'm going to teach you how to read. B I M B O. Do you think you can remember that? Let me help you. What are you looking at, Titch? Are you deaf as well as dumb? What the hell are you looking at? Retard, get away from me. I told you, get out of my sight. You make me sick. Don't touch me, you little freak. How did you get to be such a loser? I can't believe you are related to me. You're one big mistake. I wish you'd never been born. Get out of my seat. Always lurking and getting in the way. You make me sick. You're one big mistake. I can't believe you're related to me. I wish you'd never been born. Turn. Turn. Get away from me. Get away from me. I told you. I told you. Get out of my seat. I told you. Get out of my seat. Get away from me. Why do you have to be so Get away, I told you. Get out of my seat. 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 Make me make me sick. I wish you'd never been born. Morning class! Okay, sit down. Everyone take a seat. Okay, let's talk. I really don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with myself. When I was a bit younger, then I got mostly bullied. People used to call me gay. It hurts a lot. My dad just kept on saying, you are strong, you are strong, because either they've been abused or perhaps something gets in the way. A boy? Pushed another girl. I would protect the victim to keep her uh, safe from the other boy. I just had to put myself out there.
It's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from me.